Looping is a very important technique for samples and of course you can manually do everything you would expect and probably even more in Kima Pro. Kima Pro offers a wide range of crossfades, pre and post loop mixed crossfades with variable shapes, single cycle loop tools and we could go on for a long while. But we won't talk about manual editing as most of the times there won't be need for you to work manually on loops, as Schema Pro has some very powerful automatic looping tools. There are two basic auto looping techniques in Schema Pro. One is based on a search for the best loop in the audio material, as it is. The other one creates artificial loops using the sample as source material. And sometimes this is required when there is no clear loop in your audio material. Let's start with auto loop search. We have already used it for an analog synth instrument in a previous chapter, but those were quite simple waveform. So let's try it with more complex audio material. Here I have a recording of a real drummer. And I just have to select a segment of my sample. In this case, I'm selecting everything and then use the auto loop function to search for the best loop inside that selection. Notice how the loop is fantastic but doesn't start where you would expect. This is normal and I just have to reface the loop. I want to use this loop somewhere else and so I drag and drop export this loop from the magic pad to the desktop. Now let's try looping a more complex drum recording. Sounds good. A full stereo mix with vocals now. Something rock? something acoustic. I like this, so I will rephrase and export it. Now this is very interesting because uh, it's an old recording 
there's nothing digital about it, no metadom, no Pro Tools editing, no logic editing. Let's hear it. And do you quit me, baby? Faster, do you don't, la la. Faster, do you don't, la la. Faster, do you don't. Still how do no plaything? Leave me, take no lie, la la. Let's find the best loop in the complete song. And do you quit me, baby? Faster, do you don't, la la. Faster, do you don't, la la. Faster, do you don't. Do you quit me, baby? Faster, do you Let's now try using the Penrose machine looping algorithm and the Penrose machine takes a fingerprint of your sound and builds perfect loops. I just select the desired location for my loop, then I enable the Perlos machine. I'm adding a crossfade before the loop. And that's it. I can arbitrarily change the loop and the Perlos machine recreates a new loop. And as you can see, it's very easy to use. You just turn it on and it's very effective. Let's try a vocal sample. I'm selecting and then using option N to create a loop. Now let's try a synth. This actually has a problem because there is a kind of glitch somewhere in the end. Let's go and search for it. It's somewhere here. Okay, in any case we select, we create our loop, panels machine, Crossfade No glitches And we have our loop Let's loop a piano, this has already a loop but I will do something different now So create a loop, crossfade Panos machine
another piano sample again we create the, the loop from scratch We have seen how to loop a single sample with the Peros machine, but what if we have already a complete instrument to loop? In that case, we use the quick set loop command. If the sound is somehow rhythmical, we can instead select all zones and then use the auto loop search function. example 